to ukulele. My name is Nina Lasiga and I'm here with Katie and Bill. They're my students and we are wearing masks because it's June 1st and we want to practice good social behavior, social distancing. We are so excited that you are here to join us. We're here to play three ukuleles, three songs, and three or less chords. Let's begin. Hold your ukulele to the left. Use your thumb by the neck and just cradle it in your hands. Hold it to your midsection. I actually play it a little lower and then hug it just a tiny bit with your hand. And then the names of the strings are G, C, E, A. C being middle C. G being a little higher than middle C. So let's just take the thumb and let's take all the strings and go one, two, three, four. Join me, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One more time, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now we're going to take the thumb and we're going to what's called strum. We're going to let the thumb dance down all the strings. Ready, go. That was terrific. We are ready for our first song. And it's called Down in the Valley. And Down in the Valley is going to have two chords. And chords just means that we're going to take that thumb and play multiple strings all at once, just like we did. So the chord that we're going to start with is in the first position, and the first position is actually the place in the ukulele between the metal marker and the nut. You can see the nut of my ukulele is whitish. And so we never press on top of a fret, we press between the metal marker and the next and the nut here. We're going to take the index finger, that's the finger, first finger here, and we're going to press down above the first metal marker on the second string from the bottom. So try that. Ready, go. Now, the only other chord that we're going to use on this chord is still with the index finger, but you're going to release it and dance down one string. So you are actually playing the string on the bottom of the ukulele. And to make this a little more clear, let me show you a diagram. So the two chords are actually differing by the position of your finger. Your finger is either pressing down on the second string from the bottom or the first string from the bottom. Those are your two chords. And in Down in the Valley, this is a waltz song. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three. And we are actually going to play each chord 12 times to a waltz tempo. The first chord in this Down in the Valley is the first chord I showed you. It is the first finger pressed down on the first position above the first metal marker using the string next to last from the floor. And then you're going to play 12 of those chords and then pick up the finger and let it dance down one string so you are actually pressing down the string closest to the floor. So here we go. We're going to start with the first finger on the next to last string above the first metal marker 12 times. And when we sing down in the valley, we're going to hold our chords on down in the and start the song strumming on the valley. So I'm just going to give you the pitch down. Down in the one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, change chords. Hang your head over. Change the chord now. Change chords. 
And so we're going to move on to song two. Oh, congratulations. You are now a ukulist. That's what you call a person who plays the ukulele. So the good news with those two chords, you can play the famous song, Achy Breaky Heart. Whoa. Yes. All right. Now, um, the Achy Breaky Heart starts with the same chord. And we're going to add a little bit of fanciness to this chord. We're going to make it sound richer. And the way that we're going to do it, we're going to start the same way as down in the valley. We're going to press down the index finger on the second to last string above the first metal marker. And when you, whenever you press down on a string with the ukulele, do curve the finger so that the fleshy part of the finger is coming down on the string. So that is what we played to start down in the valley. Now what we're going to do here that's different is we're going to take the middle finger and we're going to press it down above the second metal marker on the string closest, close, closest to you. So this is going to be a two finger chord. Now to, sh to make it a little clearer, here's a diagram. And what it's showing you is that you're going to press the index finger on above the first metal marker on the second string from the bottom and then the middle finger above the second metal marker on the string closest to top. But what's most important that you see that the fingers are not pressing down at the same position. Your middle finger is going further down the neck. So let's get started with achy breaky heart. The good news, we start with the two, we start with a little bit of the more difficult chord. If you find it too difficult, you of course you could swap out with the same chord we did before with just one finger. Now we're going to start with that two finger chord and then when we're finished with this two finger chord, it's a really nice transition. You're actually going to take the index finger release the fingers, put the index finger on the last string right above the first metal marker. And that's the other chord. And these two chords have names. This two finger chord is called the F chord. And the one finger chord, which we used in Down in the Valley, is called C and seven, C seven chord. Now I don't want you to have to worry about counting chords and so I'm going to ask you to strum along and I'm going to tell you when to change chords. Now the most important thing to remember is like when you're playing the ukulele that you remember to breathe. And that if you get lost, sing louder and have fun. <laughs> We're not perfect. We don't expect you to be perfect. So sing along. We, do we love this song? I love this song. <laughs> Yay. Woo. All right. Ready, go. You can tell the world you never was my girl. You can bring my clothes up and change chords. You can tell my friend just what a fool I've been. time it goes from the F to the C7 and to the F ready go F C7 F and if you didn't get that part don't sweat it just play it again watch this tape again watch watch this segment again and you will get it 
So we're going to move on to a very famous song that makes me feel like I'm on, I'm on vacation. It's called Limbo Rock. Have you heard of this song? Yes. All right. <laughs> and so I remember growing up, we used to, we used to, we used to put up a limbo pole and you had to bend back onto the pole. Those were the days, my friend. So here we go. Um, the good news on, on the limbo rock is that you're going to use the F chord again. If you remember, the F chord is uh, the first finger above the first metal marker on the, on the string closest to the bottom. And then you're going to stretch the, metal, the middle finger above the second metal marker on the string closest to you. So remember, we already know one chord. Now the second piece of good news is that this song begins with a one finger chord, but it's a new one finger chord. Take a deep breath because you've got this. Take your ring finger and press the string closest to the floor right above the third metal marker. And then and that's called the C chord. What is that called? The, the C, C chord. chord. Yes, that's excellent. And there is just one more chord on this song, and this is a super duper chord. And this chord is going to unleash a lot of songs to your potential repertoire. And it's a three finger chord. It has a triangle formation. Let me first start by showing you a diagram of what your three fingers are going to look like on the ukulele. What you're going to see is that the index finger and the middle finger are both going to press strings above the second metal marker or the second position. It's a little squishy especially if you have one of the little ukuleles called the soprano ukulele. I'm actually playing a concert size ukulele. You're going to take your ring finger and make the triangle by pressing down the next to last string from the floor above the third metal marker and this is called the G chord. And your fingers may hurt just a little bit, but with practice, it won't hurt as much. So let's try that G chord one more time. Remember, index finger above the second metal marker on the, the string one down from closest to you, and then your middle finger on the string closest to the floor, and then create the triangle by putting down the third finger above the third metal marker. fingers and if they hurt and you have a cool glass of water or a water bottle you may want to wrap that hand around the cool water bottle to make it a little bit of a cold compress and we're almost done and so bear with me and let's do limbo rock it starts with that easy chord that's the C chord it's just one finger the ring finger on the above the third metal marker and from there, you're going to head over to the G chord. So just take your time and get the G chord when you can. There's going to be eight C chords, four G chords, and then four C chords. Here we go. Take a deep breath. One, two. Okay, so let me just show you the pitch. Every, okay, ready, go. Every little boy and girl. Okay, here we go. Let's just try that one more time. One, two. Every limbo boy and girl all and change the chord down. Wanna do the limbo rock. Change chord around the limbo rock. All right, I hear percussion.
option. And that is always an option, whether you have a maraca or you have a rain shaker, or you just want to turn your ukulele to the back and start using it as a drum. All right, so we're going to, oh, look at that. Wow. Katie plays a good drum ukulele, and I so aspire to her ukulele because it's red. And Bill, Bill has multiple ukuleles. Maybe in a future video, he'll pull out another one. Okay, so now Jack be limber, Jack be quick. We're actually changing to the two finger chord, which is the F chord. So it's the first finger down above the first metal marker on the string next to left. And then you're actually stretching the middle finger and that's the F chord. So it starts with Jack B, Limber, Jack B, Quick, Jack Go C chord, Limbo G chord, all around the Limbo clock, A, let's C, and F, and C. Yay! So let's just, play, yeah, let's just play this right through so you have another chance of learning where the changes are in the in the song take a deep breath are you ready ready, you ready katie ready bill here ready. we go every little boy and girl can change chords change chords played the ukulele and we hope you will continue playing the ukulele until next time have a great day and keep strumming Yay! Yay! make music everybody Yay! thank you Yay! jack change left chord jack